Um, I'm Danielle. I'm one of the auxiliary nurses. OK, three blood pressure and temperature. The start of September and the NHS is still in recovery from last winter. Birmingham's Queen Elizabeth Hospital was swamped with an extra 4,000 patients in A&E. Routine elective operations had to be cancelled to make way for emergency patients on the wards. Staff are nervous about the winter to come. Well, we've been working over the summer, seven days a week, into the night in surgery to catch up with what happened to us last winter in displacing elective patients. And our staff have really risen to that challenge and done it. And people can do that for a short period, but they can't do it in a sustained way. Last winter, some hospitals resorted to desperate measures to cope with demand. Triage tents in the car park, ambulances left queuing outside the front door. And the pressure shows in NHS statistics. In October last year, 4% of patients waited more than four hours for treatment. That doubled to more than 8% in April. Over the summer, the workload eased. But the latest figures reveal a worrying rise, up to 4% again already. Autumn barely begun. In an exclusive interview with Sky News, the Health Secretary said an extra £500 million of government money will help to prevent serious problems, but he admits to being concerned. It's going to be very, very tough and you know, people are working extremely hard, no question about it. And I, I feel humbled, frankly, every time I go to a hospital A&E department and just see the pressure that people are under and the, you know, the good humour that they work uh, with under really, really tough circumstances. But we can um, get through this winter uh, and it is entirely possible to meet those A&E targets and I'm absolutely determined that we should. More doctors will be on duty this winter and GP services out of hours are likely to be stepped up. But the doctor in charge of emergency care for England warned patients could still have to wait. Waiting would be a compromise, so safety is the priority and we will endeavour to do everything we can to maximise the way patients are receive their care and as quickly and as optimally as possible in the system. But it is a pressured system, it is a pressured system, but we have to work within the envelope that we have and the skills and the staff that we have. According to the Sky News poll, the public blames the government for the problems, but these patients say staff are doing their best. They're saints to have to put up with what they do put up with. It seems like everyone's rushing around, so it just needs to be more help, more help at hand. They seem fine and on it with the kids, and my nephew as well, he got rushed to there for pneumonia, and they looked after him well. NHS England will shortly reveal plans for a shake-up of urgent care. GPs, pharmacists and ambulance crews will be asked to treat more patients so they don't need to go to A&E. It's controversial, but the NHS says the current pressure on hospitals is unsustainable. Thomas Moore, Sky News, 